Right guys, welcome back to the Riga Gentleman Studio. Today we've got George in the chair. How are you doing, mate? I'm very well, thank you. So I'm good, thank you, mate. I'm good. You're so, good. what's the plan today? What are we doing? So it's a long time coming. I need it all off pretty okay. much. Okay. Um, so I had it down to my shoulders. I'm just going shorter, shorter, and shorter. Okay. Okay. Nice. And being nice. a dad's constantly in my face. Yeah. Don't have time to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm thinking if I, I think it's called Ivy League, French crop, something, okay. something along those sort of lines. Probably yeah, yeah. similar to yourself. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Um, sure. I've got a few photos. Let's have a little studio. look. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what your where, where your brain's at. Yeah. Something pretty similar to that. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, sad. I'm not, not too sure if you'd class that as that, what that's I just such described. a popular, such a popular haircut yeah. at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just, sad, um, yeah. yeah, it's a functional haircut, something that can put a yeah, bit of a product bit of in, or yeah. wet, fluffy, or put it to the side, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with product, without it, still looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. versatile, really. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, definitely. Perfect. And what about the back and sides? What are you thinking? Maybe something natural. Okay. How short do you want to go with it? Nothing too skin fady. Okay. Okay. I'm thinking in in the past, I've gone too short too high mm -hmm. and it's made my head look super long yeah 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 so i'm not too sure of my face type whether i'll be fine we'll, we'll we'll work on that we'll, yeah. we'll we'll come to sort of a, the right height and length and so i just because okay. the top we've got the top sorted yeah now do you want me to just work down from the top into something that looks very it looks shorter than the top but it's not like again no skin fade nothing like that at all just something that's going to balance the top but then it's a bit shorter on the back and sides. Yeah, exactly. Nothing too imbalanced, nice and natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Personally, I think the best way to do this is to tailor it to you. So we cut the top in first, then we just pick a length from the top on the guide and work down from there. Awesome. That, that way yeah. it looks more, it looks better for your face shape. It works for, yeah. your, for your head shape. You've got a diamond face shape. Okay. So you see you've got these points here and then it kind of comes in. Okay. Like this, right, so you've yeah. got a proper diamond. Okay. So if you go too high, yeah, it does, yeah. It does this and it makes your face look really long. <laughs> so essentially what you're looking for, right, I'll show you, is when you're doing the face shape, Mm -hmm. You put the comb on the sides and you press it against just just kind of at the bottom of the right ear, oh, and that's the angle you need your haircut now. Okay, so it needs to come right out. You can see how much your head concaves. So if you do this, yeah, yeah it would make your head it would look like a peanut. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it would look like. Fair enough. Um, which is not the look that I think you're going for. <laughs> um, so what we want to do is we want to work quite mm -hmm. short down the bottom. Mm -hmm. and then still build some length Perfect. Of but that's what I'm saying if we taper it mm -hmm. down shorter through the bottom okay. it'll be better for the top so everything will just fall in nicely Perfect. You know I mean? yeah, so I think great. more than putting a guard on and just going up and hoping yeah. that it's the right length sure. we can work down from okay. the top Thank you. So I think that would probably be the best thing I like to still keep, keep my beard so yeah. um, I think maybe a low taper might not work with that Mm -hmm. um, well, it depends how short you go. What, what yeah. tapers? A low taper is just is a buzzword, but it can be at any length. Oh, so right. if you're thinking of a low taper as being skin, you don't have to have skin. A taper is just so the the, the word taper is mm. the uh, reduction of unwanted and unnecessary. Length. Okay, that's sure. what a taper. Yeah, is. yeah. Think sure. of a trouser, yeah. tapered trouser. Of course, yeah. getting rid of the, the unwanted length yeah. towards the bottom. Yeah. Right, fair enough. It's the same thing on a, on a haircut. We just all a taper is is just getting rid of stuff we don't need. Okay. So it doesn't mean we have to get rid of it all, yeah. but we can just get rid of most of it. So if you want to keep the beard. We can blend it down to the beard. Yeah, great. Yeah, that's perfect. Thing too. There we go. We found our length. Awesome. And then through the back and sides, especially through here, through the neck, again, a taper on that's perfect because you've got the, the neckline from hell, as we would call it. If anyone's watching, that is the neckline from hell. If he's, <laughs> if he's having anything other than a, a fade, right? So it basically just grows inwards and it, yeah, it's hard. It's hard yeah. to manage. But the best thing with that is if you taper it out, it looks so much, so much natural. Like if you just tape that right in, it looks so much better. Like it just it just gives something to the haircut. Okay, right? It doesn't look it. messy. It stays looking tidy yeah. for longer as well. So yeah, I think the lengthwise on top we go down to the to Theo James because the, uh, the, that's after gentleman, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, okay, so I think we go down to the length that he's got. Yeah, it's kind of it's like probably maybe an inch, maybe a couple of inches long. Yeah. The fringe is still in play. We haven't took the fringe away, and then that way it can just fold into different things. Can I get well. a natural finish on the fringe because um, yeah. before I had a bit of a blunt fringe and it just. It yeah, just no. suit me, if right? you look at if you if you're thinking of the image and of what Theo James yeah. has got, that's what I'm thinking as well. Yeah, perfect. I'm not going to box it off. Right? Thank that's you. All. No, yeah. It's all going to be very natural because we're keeping everything else natural. Yeah, that would kind of ruin the look. Okay. So no, very feathered at the front. Probably going to use the razor to break that up a little bit. So yeah. it just looks like very natural. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you. Because I want I want you to put product in just to emphasize it. Yeah, sure. I don't need to put product in to create it. Do you yeah. get what I mean? Yeah, so if it was a, if it was a blunt fringe, you'd more than likely have loads of texture behind it. So then you'd have to put product in to show that off. Okay. Whereas if you have more like like what I've got, if I pull my fringe down. I've got a very natural fringe. Sure, well. yeah. So, yeah, same kind of thing. Lovely. Yeah. All right, cool. So let's give this shampoo and condition then, mate. Right, so George's hair is shampooed and conditioned. I don't know if you've got it on camera, he's just been telling me he's, a, he's an Everton fan, so I've kind of changed my mind about giving him a nice haircut. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Well, no, we're gonna, uh, gonna start with the top, and we're gonna bit, blend this right down into the sides in the back. So again, we're gonna do what is probably not a modern day taper, but a taper nonetheless, okay? So starting from the top, 
going to create a profile section and this is going to create the length that I want and really keep the shape along the top as well. So I want this to be cut like this. I'm going to follow the shape of the head. I want this to concave here. And I want this to follow the shape of the head. Okay. So I'm going to start with creating a T section first just to get it right at the back. So straight over there like so. You go smack back in the middle like that. And then where the crown is, so the crown, George, here, is there. So we're going to do it just a, about a finger width above, okay? Because I want to play with the back as well. I want to give the head shape towards the back too. There we go. Either side of the centre, I'm going to take a section, okay? Just slightly, maybe like as wide as that section in tooth there. All the way to the back. Like so. And then coming from the back, like so. I'm going to take a section the same width, all the way down to the front. Now that is my profile section that we're working on to create the shape. Like so. That's the section we're going to be taking through there, right down the middle. Okay. So we're just taking the length down the front. We're going to start at the front and cut the length in. Okay, now I'm probably going to go to, I'm take off about that much, I think, about that. And work to the back and just follow the head shape around. And straight as you can see it dipped at the back so you need to keep that nice and straight so we're maintaining some crown ah, there's a guide for the length on the top okay and i take sections either side and i cut to match from my knuckle right there Just finger with sections across the top to create the length removal and also show the guide from behind it and from the left hand side too. Coming through into the sides is our guide now. This creates the guide for the clipper work in a minute. So pick it out, follow the guide from there. Small sections because we're going quite short. Right back to the section up before the crown, like so. So we've got profile section, we'll match it up to fringe down the middle bring this over here take our finger width section go up and then follow the guide Next section is to the sides here now. Here we go, there's our guide. This section is nice and small and thin. Cut 
not so much. In. And now what we do is through the crown, we're going to work like uh, basically orange segments through the side, like this. Here, 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 and here, and then here to match in. Okay, so we'll have a little point at the crown. Here's our guide from in front and our guide from the top. There we go. Look at this. So like angle our fingers over. Just keep working around. But always that one little section lower down from the crown. So we're not going to take the crown away and keep it in play. And def definitely, definitely not going to leave it too long either. Now I'm going to texturize this before we start any the clip away. I'm going to use the razor to texturize this. This gives a really nice finish. So what we do, bring it to one side. We're on the razor right across, like this. Then from this side, bring it down, bring it across this way again. Just keep sliding it through. Now what this does, it thins it out, cuts loads a little bit shorter. And then what you can do from the back, is slide right through the hair, like that. It gives a very heavily textured French crop effect. And through the front, what you can do is you pull little bits in, just cut that bit of freehand. Don't want the fringe to be perfect, I want the fringe to be very natural looking. Here we go. Now, clip away. I've got my guide from up here. I'm going to do this as it's starting to dry off naturally. So I've got my guide all the way around from this point onward. So I know we're not going to take this too high. We're going to create the shape that George needs, but also we're going to create that kind of very natural finish. Again, this is, this is just going to look as though a, a crop's grown out and it's turned into something like this, all right? So through the back, I'm going to start first. So if you look when it's wet, you can see all the length. And there's the shortness. There's my guide right there. Come out because you need to use the crown because obviously we're wearing the hair forward, so we need to use the crown. That's why I left it to the in that part there where I left it away. Lift it up. Here's our guide. We cut. half on that just tapering at that bottom bit there like that Cross-checking now. This is where you can really perfect it. Can you see where you kept that corner in there? Yes. Yeah, so balances better. into the face shape, yeah? It feels so much better as well. Yeah, it looks good. It really suits you as well. It really does. Same thing again. Client's head's just slightly lowered down. We've got our guides all over the place. So we go wrong. Not to worry, we can just go back 
to the left hand side, the right hand side, and when you start again. So I grew out, grew out through COVID, yeah. probably like quite a lot of people. Um, and then I thought after like two years of growing it, I thought if I cut it, I'm never going to grow it back. Yeah. Um, then I went and done like a severe man bun. So I got like a undercut maybe. Oh yeah. Um, and then got like a, a skin fade. Um, and I just don't, I think it was just too short and I did regret getting like the undercut on it. Are you telling me you're an Evertonian and you got the Darwin Nunes? <laughs> oh, you should be it in shape. It's the, I, I set the, uh, the standard. Oh, did he it hit was yours? Pretty, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, it hit me up on Instagram George, and yeah. that's it. Ah, I thought so, man. I thought so, yeah. Um, and then when I started my new job in 23, I cut it down um, to pretty much just a little bit more longer, about an inch longer than what I just had it. Oh, okay. Um, and then being a new dad, not getting five minutes to myself for the morning. I just need a, like, a functional haircut that I can just like wash, dry, put yeah. a bit of product in. Looks good with or without, basically. Yeah, yeah, I'm spending like 15, 20 minutes uh, yeah. of a morning and it doesn't sit back unless I put like half a tub of gel in it. Right. And it just looks too, it just looks too much, you know? Yeah. No, I get it, man. I get yeah. it, man. Of course, of course. Did you ever think though, like when you obviously had your long hair, did you ever think you'd end up like, you know, however many years later getting a crop, do you think it was because obviously, you know, like you said, having a baby, yeah. um, the, the, the maintenance of it, everything else, did you, did you think that would ever be an issue or did you find it, you know? You no, because I, I had all the time in the world, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. and I had this similar haircut like back in the 90s, so it's weird. Yeah, it uh, is a very yeah, 90s yeah, vibe, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a very, um, it is that kind of like the um, Britpop era, isn't it? You know, yeah, no, definitely. French crop yeah. oasis yeah. kind of yeah. thing, you know? I just need a, I think you should get your, a hairstyle that suits your lifestyle. 100%. Um, yeah, I echo that massively, yeah. yeah, 100%. I mean, I did the same as you, mate, yeah. you know what I mean? So. Do you feel like as well, as you get a bit older, you've got to get a haircut that's probably a bit age appropriate as well? Personally, yes. Okay. Professionally, not necessarily. Yeah, but sure. Yeah, I'd say for me, yeah, yeah. I think so. I think if I walked to the, to the school, yeah. Dyed blonde hair and a skin fade, I think I'd look, I'd look a bit out of place, you know what yeah, I mean? That's right. um, but no, not, not to say you can't do it, I think maybe just for me. Yeah. I think if I didn't feel comfortable with it, I, w I couldn't pull it off. Yeah, I think that's the problem. If you're that person who can pull these hairstyles off, you'll yeah. be fine. Yeah. You know, it's just, you've got to have the confidence in yourself to be like, yes, yeah. I want my hair to be like this look and I'm going to rock mm -hmm. it. Because if you don't, you're never going to have that, you're not going to have that confidence yeah, from the course, hair yeah. and it'll yeah. just lead down, yeah. you know? <laughs> so. So I'm just going to dry this off now. So from the crown, out. As you can see, look at that. That crown's sitting lovely. See? Which is what we want. It shapes the back of the head, which is what we needed to do. Not just on George, but for every single person. I'm just going to tape around the edges a bit more with the trimmers, cut that into a bit more shape, and then I'm just going to break up everything on the top and just cut the crown into play. That's it. Lovely. Break the fringe up as well. All right. I'm not cutting too much into the hairline or anything, we're just strengthening it. Same through the ears and stuff, we're not like looping it around too much or anything at all, we're just giving a cleaner version of it. So again, we're still going for that kind of natural finish. Again, natural doesn't have to mean like hanging over, it can mean something that doesn't draw the eye to it. So if I was to like, like if I was to, for example, loop that right the way around the ear, then that wouldn't look very natural. But it's just keeping it low. So nice and clean, nice and clean and tidy. But still, you know, obviously, still got that finish that you can see there's been a haircut done, but it doesn't draw the eye. 
then that's perfect for me. And I feel like that's what George want, would want as well when he says natural. I think he'd still want it to look like he's had a haircut. So. The same thing with that taper. Neat and tidy, but nothing crazy. Shapes in there now, everything's sitting nice. You've got the squareness in there as well. And what we do is we just thin out this top, make the fringe up, and cut the crown into place. So, first, I want to do the crown. So, I'm going to pull this over, over direct this back, cut this, then cut this, pull this over here, and cut that. You see, you have a little peak, right? I'll have a little peak there as well. Okay? So, everything's in play. Now, I'm going to go through the top now and just give it loads of texture as well. So we've already used the razor, I want to break the ends up though, like so. And close your eyes for me now, bud. Texture. I really like that. It's nice, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a nice shape. Thanks, yeah, mate. Now, that's it without product. Yeah. Okay? It's just like a short French crop. Yeah, sure. That's all it is. Back in size as well. Let me show you the neck as well. So, give you a really nice natural taper. I'm just going to use the shaver on this just to get rid of any of that stubble because obviously your neckline goes quite low. Yeah. So I've raised that up. But again, keeping it nice and natural. Okay. Not going for anything too crazy. It just looks like I'm, it just looks neat. Okay. Cheers. Oh wow! Yeah. You see? Yeah, just we are. Like nothing. Same on the side. The crown's in place. You've got loads of movement yes. today. All that texture in there without anything in it. Yeah. So if you can see it without anything in it. Imagine what it'll look like with something in it. Yeah, absolutely. It looks you know so mean? subtle as well. You know, so yeah, yeah, exactly. That's right. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I love that. And the sides just kind of blend into the beard as well. Yeah, so. perfect. Happy, yeah? Yeah, mate. Yeah, awesome. Great. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. So what I'll do is I'm going to mm. take the gown off. Yeah. Uh, I'll take this mic off a sec, and I want to style it with you in your clothes. Yeah, yeah more sure. than in the gown. Yeah, so I think sure. you'll see the hair could come up. Okay. Come to life a bit more. All right. So in terms of product, you could go for clay, mm -hmm. you could go for paste, you could go for even if a pomade, even if you want to have some separation in mm -hmm. it as a pomade, you could. I think if you want to emphasize the texture and everything like that, yeah. I'd go for a, a clay. If okay. I so this is a dry clay, okay? Now what I do with this is use like a pea size amount, just about that much, okay? Mm -hmm. Palm your hand, spread it out, work it first, warm it up, because it's a dry clay. Warm it all up, like that and then work it through your hands and through your fingers, okay? And the way to apply this is you do it down, not up. You do it down okay. first, okay? So you want to coat the top of it. So you do through your hands, and you do this. That's literally all you do, all the way over, like that. Through the back and sides, and then like that. Cross that way, cross that way, and then you go up. Ah, uh, I see. Like that. Yeah. And then you go forwards. And that's what creates that crop effect and then you just tweak it like this so you're in the top first flat then you'll be across like that all over the hair then pull it up and then go forwards and that's how you get that natural looking textured crop that you see in movies that you yeah. see on models it looks effortless yeah exactly and that's yeah. kind of how you do it and you just twist it around and do that and that's it yeah it just looks like you've not really done anything to your hair just as though you've just run your hands through your hair 
you can push little bits back and stuff like that as well just to give you that Perfect. more natural finish do you know what I mean yeah. there we go yeah I really like that thank you so much it's nice isn't it man yeah, 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 great. Thank really you. good choice of haircut as well I think it suits yeah. your loads cheers mate I think, it, I think it also makes you look a bit younger as well I'll take that all day yeah no, that's what I was thinking <laughs> yeah exactly yes exactly what I wanted yeah yeah times 10 so okay, thank man. you amazing thank you great. I love it mate